All right, everybody, welcome back to the Fly Tying Vice. This is Andy, Creek Chicken Outfitters. Today, I'm going to do my best to show you how I tie a woolly book. So, what I'm using is a three and a half millimeter tungsten bead in brown. It's uh, made by Firehole and a size number 12 mustad hook. Uh, the body of this one, I'm going to do in a, probably, let's do a green one. Those are popular, and I'm going to use a white and black hackle feather for that. Never mind the drawer noise here. I am hunting Maribou. Forgive me for not being organized. There it is. All right, green marabou. We're going to go with some Troutsman Enterprises dark green chenille. Okay. And since this is going to be a weighted fly, I'm going to be using some. Uh, 0 0.025 round lead-free wire. There we go. Snip off a bit of wire here. I want this fly, this is the one I want to go deep, quick. So we're gonna wait it. And so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And so bear with me while I try to do this. I usually try to do maybe eight to 10 wraps. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do another one. Let's go ahead and finish out that little bit right there. So. My fingers are too fat to twist that off of this size hook. So, cut it. Come in, I'm gonna mash it down smooth. And then, I'm gonna press the bead up against the eye of the fly with the lead wire. And I'm gonna come in here with my head cement. And I'm going to secure lead wire to the hook with a little bit of cement. Not much. I just don't want it twisting around and running all over the place on me. So there we go. And maybe a little more here. And that'll seep right into that. And we'll wrap it that way in just a sec. Now if this is slow pace for some of you guys, I understand. Just bear with me. If you're interested in how I do this, I know there's a ton of ways. I've tied them different ways, and uh, so will you guys. So, since we're doing a pretty much a green, we're going to use uh, ADOT Vivas Green Thread. It's real pretty. So, I'm just going to come in. I'm going to put some wraps here. Go around, and then come around, and then I'll wrap in that lead free wire come back here and I like to make a ramp whoops of thread behind the lead wire kind of like that I don't know if you can see it I hope so so there we go a few more wraps come back there to the shank of the hook let it jang dangle there I'm gonna cut off my tag end going to get wrapped under anyway. So, now I'm going to come over here and get some uh, marabou feather. I'm going to select one real quick. I don't, this is not an exact science for me. I know there are schools of thought. A lot of people like to be very, very picky with their marabou for woolly boogers and such. I am not. As long as it's got a nice looking tail, I'm good with it. So, we come in, we've got a bunch like this. I'm gonna go ahead and 
I'm gonna make that just a tad bit longer than the shank of the hood. I, I like a big fat, fat tail, so just about like that. And I'm gonna come in here to the back of the fly and I'm going to pinch wrap this a couple of times in place. And keeping it on the top, I want it on the top of the hook, so. Yes, it is. It's just getting in the way. All right, stretch it out a bit. Pull my feather back around, and that should be pretty good. So I'm going to come in with my my good scissors. I'm going to snip that off kind of along the shank here, because I'm going to wrap that in. in a little bit. Like so. It doesn't have to go flat because we're going to be wrapping chenille around it anyway. So I want a little bit of flash to this thing. So now is when, let me hunt this. I should have had all this ready. I apologize guys. I like a little bit of crystal flash in the tail. So we'll show you how I add that in. It's so not a lot. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose just two fibers of my crystal flash. Snip it off. And I'm going to, I'm going to pinch it and I'm going to fold it basically over itself. Doesn't have to be perfect because I can move it around anyway. So I'm going to wrap that in good. All right, now I've got my flash. Okay, and I can take my two fibers on one side and kind of give it a little pull, separate it, and the same on this side. Just separate that a little bit, like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, and cut a piece of chenille. Actually, I'm gonna do another trick. <clears throat> Change this up just a tad. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of gold wire. We're gonna make this one pretty. Flashy green booger. So I'm gonna cut a piece of gold wire. Very thin gold wire, like here. I'm gonna take and I'm going to start that in place. Try not to get my. All right. Wrap it in pretty good right here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my thread back behind the bead here. All right. I'm gonna come in. Kind of like I did on the last fly, my uh, resin midge. I'm gonna secure this at the, right behind the bead with maybe three wraps on the whip finish. So it'll stay in place. I'm going to swing my cradle, bobbin cradle around. So when I spin this, nope, I'm ahead of myself. Back up, rookie. You guys will all appreciate it me being a rookie compared to most of you. Some excellent fly tires out there. Okay. Now is when I cut my chenille. All right. Now we're cutting. I'm going to strip a little bit of the chenille off of the end because it's like a a very small rope as you can see it's got fibers in the middle and all I want to do I don't want to build up a huge hump here so I'm going to tie down just the fibers themselves with a pinch wrap or two 
come in and secure it right back here and wrap it in. All right, then take my, there we go. Now, since I got ahead of myself, we're gonna do that again. One, two, three on the whip finish. There we go. Secure it down. Bobbin cradle back in place. Okay, so now I'm going to take my chenille and I'm going to spin the rotary vise around. Just cover the body of the fly. Now get back up here behind the bead. Back to where I started. I'm going to make sure I hold on to that. Get rid of my cradle real quick. I'm going to wrap my thread behind the tag end of the chenille nice and tight, as tight as I can without messing it up. A couple of good wraps behind one two in front and then i can clip it off back here all right so there's our body all right i'm gonna wrap that again a couple and uh now i'm gonna come in i'm gonna do this by hand i'm gonna wrap my wire i'm gonna go in between the wraps of chenille this just gives it a little more character and a little brighter flash and then I come up there and I'm gonna go behind the wire just like I did the chenille a second ago a couple of wraps here secure it down I can kind of let go of it now and wrap one two three then I can come back and twist off my wire. Alrighty. Now it's time for our hacker. Choose a nice one here. This is the hackle I'm using. <clears throat> I'm going to strip a few of the quill fibers off of the bottom of this feather so I have a tag in basically. As you can hopefully see here, I'm going to tie this in, tie that tag in here at the front. Okay. I'm going to go over and get my hackle pliers and come in and pinch the end. Oh, it came off. Well, let's guess what? I can tie it right back in there. And I'm going to spin that around. I like to do about one and a half. Showing you that very well. So I'm coming around here. Go around my hook, and then I'm going to bring my thread. I'm going to go between. Try not to capture any of my hackle feather. Come back here and wrap and tie off the back of the hackle feather. Go behind it. Trying not to capture very many fibers of the feather. Okay, and I'm going to go back forward. And once again, try not to capture a bunch of feather. In between, kind of go in between there. There we go. 
and then come back around back behind the bead. There we go. And since we've wrapped that back here, you can just pick it off. It breaks so easy. All right, come back in with my whip finisher and make one, two, three, four, and about five good wraps with the whip finisher on behind the head of the fly. Come in, take off your thread. There it is. And come in with our handy solar res. See that? And I tied that off down here at the bottom. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of solar res on the threads right behind the bead to secure it. That's where everything ties into. All right, so now that we got our resin there, come in with our UV light again. As you guys can tell, I like solar res. It's awesome stuff. And I'm, you know, once again, my weak light takes a few seconds more but since that's such a light coat on there it should not take more than about 10 or 15 seconds and that should be set all right so my last step is to come in with my crystal flash remember we had separated it so I want to come in and I want to cut it off right at even with the tail, maybe a tiny bit shy of it on each side. There we go. Now we have a woolly booger with a little bit of flash, a little bit of gold wire and contrasting hackle with a brown three and a half millimeter tungsten bead on a number 12. So, there you go. I appreciate you guys watching. I know I kind of fumbled my way through this one, but hey, you know, give me some feedback and we'll do some more later. I appreciate everybody watching and uh, the support and uh, you guys uh, get out there and catch them. Tight lines, everybody. Later.